It is time again. It is that time for my financial update. Bulldogs. All right. It is the month of August. Actually, we're going to be going over the month of August. It's September right now of 2020. And I'm going to show you exactly how much money I made this month. I'm going to show you exactly how I made the money from real estate, from my simple programmer business, from book royalties, from Bulldog mindset, membership coaching, all that. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave anything untouched here. I, I give it to you all. And, and yeah, we're just gonna look through it. It might be a little bit boring to some of you, but to some of you, I think you're gonna find this uh, pretty interesting if you wanna know exactly how I make money. And like, I've been doing this for, I don't know, the last five or six months. It's kind of funny, because I have a lot of you still that watch this channel that like to comment on some of the videos when I talk about like how to become a millionaire. I just did a video on that. Uh, you can check it out here. There's also a link in the description and people say oh you're a scammer oh yeah you're you're uh your lies about about making millions of dollars you're not a multi-millionaire and i mean i don't know guys like you you know you can you can be skeptical all you want but i'm showing you my quickbooks right <laughs> i i don't know what else i can i can really do i mean maybe i could fabricate this stuff but uh but yeah you know it's it's really not not worth it but Anyway, we're going to jump right into this. I'm going to show you the real estate first, and then we're going to get into the businesses. And if you guys have any questions about this, you know, let me know. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump right into this. This is going to be exciting. I don't know how much money I made for August. All right, so let me zoom in here. I've got the spreadsheets already, and we can start looking at this. And for those of you guys that are already familiar with the real estate properties and everything. I'm not gonna spend too much time going over this because it's gonna be pretty standard. Uh, you know, a lot of it's the same as, as last month. So first one, real estate one, this is a commercial property owned in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, you know, I have some basic expenses here. It's a triple net lease, okay? It's like in, in a strip mall, a couple units in a shopping center here, and it's been performing pretty well. Nothing out of the ordinary here, pretty much the same thing that I, that I have. Every single month, I get income from the building maintenance, uh, rent, you know, taxes that they pay, and then so I get about thirteen thousand six hundred ninety-five dollars. But of that, I have to pay the common area maintenance fees, some insurance, uh, legal and professional fees. In this case, this was I did a a study on this, a cost segregation study. So I paid this company $2,000 last month. I paid them $2,000 the month before. And they did a cost segregation, which allowed me to depreciate the property, which saved a bunch of money on my 2019 taxes. So that was was pretty cool. And, and so, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, I won't get into the details of that, but essentially w what it is is that you have certain, you can depreciate a property over time and certain, real property elements, certain property elements within that have different depreciation schedules. And there's this bonus depreciation. So you could take all this depreciation at, depreciation at once. And I did that. And so it saved me probably like $40,000 by investing $4,000. So pretty cool. And then if we look at the total here, my net operating income is, of course, a little bit less because I spent the two grand. Okay. This two grand you know, is this really like a fee for the property? I don't know. I mean, I'm putting it in there, but as far as, you know, it was an optional type of expense there. So then we have real estate three. This is a fourplex in Meridian, Idaho, basically Boise, Idaho. Had some pretty good rents this month. No major expenses. I wish I could get this, this column to come over here, but uh, not, nothing major here. It looks like, you know, uh, pretty pretty basic stuff, taxes, all that, and so the net income on that is twenty six forty six, and then and by the way, all these properties are paid off. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into detail exactly why I have them paid off. If you're curious to know why I paid off properties, there's something really important that you need to understand. It is the the leverage versus cash flow knob. I talk about this a lot in the Bulldog Mindset membership. If you haven't joined the Bulldog Mindset membership, there's a link up in the cards. There's one in the description and in the comments. All right, go join for seven dollars for the first month and, and and check it out. Okay, it's twenty nine dollars a month after that, but you're you're gonna find it extremely valuable. But I go over all that stuff. Like I tell you how to determine 
like how to invest in property, to get cash flow when you need cash flow, to use leverage early on. Really important that you understand this. It's not, I've never really heard anyone else talk about this, but it's really, really important. If you really want to become wealthy in life, you need to understand when to use leverage, okay, and when to use cash flow. And and so, like I said, with all the properties that I own, I've turned them over to cash flow. I get into that, into the membership. It, it's something that would take me probably a good 45 minutes to explain to you here in this video. So I'm not going to explain it here. But if you want to check it out, even if you just want to just know this, just for $7, if you just sign up for the first month, go check it out. Click the link below. Seven bucks, like I said, for the first month. And you, you'll get all that information. But, you know, I try to give you as much information as I can here. It's just we have a limited time frame. And I, I'm not going to spend 45 minutes discussing this here when I have a video already in the membership. So let's see. So what are we looking at? So next one is real estate seven, all right? That one, 1580 in rent. So got most of the rents there. These are HOA fees. And then what's it like some kind of repair, I think. Uh, oh, management fees and then taxes and insurance. Well, I shouldn't really have insurance on that one. Oh no, repairs. Okay, and then taxes. I don't have insurance on that one because the HOA covers that. And so 673 is what I end up walking away with there. Real estate eight, and by the way, this is a duplex in Kansas City, Missouri. Real estate eight is two fourplexes in Kansas City, Missouri. Missing a little bit of rent here. I think one of the units or two of the units needs to get re-rented. A couple of expenses there on contracts and stuff, but nothing major until we get down to here, this 1224 expense, which is some repairs and maintenance. I can't remember exactly what it was. There was a couple of things that broke but it didn't end up doing too well. Just 1,094 left over. It's hard to believe that there's only 1,094 left over after all that, but you know, that's how it is some days. All right, so Real Estate 9, this one is a triplex in Caldwell, Idaho, just outside of Boise, Idaho. Got most of the rents. It looks like there might have been something. No, I think that's all the rents there. And then a couple of expenses there, unfortunately, some repair and maintenance and whatnot, uh, but still got uh, 1180 out of there. And then I have my just my main account where I'm just paying someone to do some paperwork and then someone to do the accounting for this in QuickBooks and whatnot. So, you know, I always take a loss on that account. And then Wildwood offices. This is two office spaces that I own in Boise, Idaho. Got all the rents there, 1350 plus utilities. So $1,400. It's looking pretty good. Not very many expenses again because they're commercial property. So I don't know what that 163, 61 was. Oh, association fees for that because it is condo units. So uh, 973. So my total real estate profit was 1190. What's it? 11,936. So let me pull up the calculator just so I can start tallying this up. 11,900. $36.93. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's go to, we'll go to Simple Programmer LLC. Okay, this is my other company, Simple Programmer. And it's been around for quite some time. I had some nice sponsorship revenue in there, which was good. Affiliate revenue, some Amazon affiliate, some Bluehost and Thrive Themes. Bluehost has been really crappy for lately. I need to Make sure I get the blog. I've got a blogging course in there that I need to make sure I'm getting traffic into there. Interview Cake had some pretty good referrals there. 2,000 books did a promotion with 2,000 books. Didn't do as well as I was hoping. Some affili other affiliate revenue. I think this was, I can't remember what this was. Maybe like a sale on on a course or, or some other promotion I did. But not a, not a huge amount. I like to see this number about above 10,000 or so. I, I've been busy, so I didn't have a lot of promotions scheduled, but hopefully next month I'll, I'll fix that. And then as far as affiliate re or product revenue, not very good. Again, 1872, I need to really get the product revenue up there. The book revenue was not so hot either, surprisingly. So just 5,600 there. Got some royalty licensing on the book on the Complete Software Developer Career Guide. This book right here. That's what I'm talking about. And that helps a little bit. And then still one patron, one patron, just, <laughs> I did a Patreon at a long time ago and this, uh, I don't know who it is, but someone is still, thank you. Thank you for the 16 bucks. Appreciate it. So let's see what else we got here. All right. Now, as far as expenses, 
contractor here. This is like some general admin work that I have and some uh, some stuff like that. Not nothing major. I've got a content marketing team that does all of the blog and website stuff and gets writers to write and edits and schedules all that. So that's where that comes from. A little bit of hosting fees, not too bad. And then I have a lot of software that I use for the company. So $773 a month on that. Uh, some marketing. This is mostly just advertising on Amazon to promote the book. And then we have, you know, basic insurance, accounting fees, bank fees. So not, not a huge amount there. So that's the total expenses. So I, I have, I'm showing a big owner distribution here. It's because I moved a bunch of money out of this account, but in, in reality, this is, is the, is my money. This is the money that I'm basically getting. Normally I pay myself like an $8,000 owner distribution, but, but then I take whatever's left over after a certain amount in the account. I won't go into the details, but, uh, basically we end up with $13,437. So if we add that to what we had so far, $13,437 and 58 cents total so far is at $25,374. All right. Now let's take a look at the last one, which is bulldog mindset. So there is one part of this. I, I, I look at this. I've, I've basically got two books on this. I've got Sonomous Ventures, which is the bigger company that owns all the other companies. So all the money flows into here, but there's some stuff that comes in here that, that doesn't get captured in there. And that's it really, at this point, is just this book royalty on my other book on soft skills, software developers, life manual because it's not going through either of the companies or it's not going through, yeah, Bulldog Mindset or, or Simple Programmer. It's just coming to to this company directly. So there's, I'm gonna add 588.34. The rest of this stuff is captured in the Bulldog Mindset. I put it into a spreadsheet, so I pull all this stuff out so I know what are actual expenses. And, and some of the stuff like the travel stuff, I don't put in there because it's sort of optional expenses. I wanna really get the raw, like what does it take to operate the business? Anything optional, I don't really wanna put put in there. So you can see these numbers, but they're really not very meaningful. This was the only one that really mattered there. But let's take a look at the monthly income in August for actual Bulldog Mindset. Okay, so income here, advertising and sponsorship. We have money coming in from YouTube, about almost $3,000. That was a pretty good month. That's been going up some. Have affiliate revenue. Had some pretty good affiliate revenue here. PropStream, which is the property, uh, like searching company that where you can find properties online that I recommend. If you wanna see any of this stuff, by the way, like a lot of the stuff that I recommend, if you go to bulldogmindset.com, and then I'd appreciate it obviously because I have an affiliate link in there, but if you go down to the bottom and starting a business resources, these are where a lot of the affiliate things are. Bluehost, Thrive Themes, these are kind of the tools that I recommend and use. I don't have the, I don't have the one, the prop stream on there. If you join the membership, I know I have the link in the resources in the membership. I should probably put it in this video as well. We'll see. I'm not too, too concerned if, if some of you guys don't. So, oh, Amazon, uh, there's probably more than zero, but it probably got mixed into here. So it, it's not much. So 2000 books had a sale there. T. Hanley actually did, did okay on that. That's, that's good. And then Bluehost been doing good on Bluehost for Bulldog Mindset. So that's, that's some nice income there. Thrive Themes and then other, this was, I believe a course that I had sold. There's a, an Amazon, an FBA Amazon course that a, a guy that I know, uh, that really good course, I put it in the Bulldog Mindset membership and I believe one or two people signed up for that and it pays a pretty good commission on that. So so that's pretty good. So there you go. That's the income from affiliates. Next we have product sales here. So the Stopping Lazy book, I have the Kindle version and the print. I started selling this directly as an upsell in the Bulldog Mindset membership. So when you buy the membership, it asks you, would you like to buy the book for like five bucks, the audio version? And so a lot of people have been taking up that offer. So that's increased the revenue slightly there. And then you've got the audio version. So the, the book is done, what, 377 bucks in a month. Not too bad. I mean, for a little, little tiny book. All right. You know, it's not a huge amount of money, but 
Bulldog Mindset membership's been kicking ass, been growing at like 750 something members right now. So that's that's pretty awesome. I, I'd like to get over a thousand members, but that's a pretty good recurring revenue coming in there. And then coaching. Coaching has also been exploding. In fact, if you're watching this video right now, if you wanted to do coaching, the, the only option would be there's a link below and you can get on the wait list because I am officially at this point full at, of coaching clients. Uh, there's an application, you can check it out and you can get on the list if, you, if you're really interested. But, but yeah, coaching. It, it's funny, a lot of people have been pitching me. They're like, oh, we can help you expand your coaching business and get you all these coaching leads. And I'm like, I don't need coaching leads. I don't want to do more coaching. Uh, it, it's something that I offer, but I offer limited slots because I honestly, I want to spend my time making videos and doing other stuff. And I could, I could take on sure 30 or 40 coaching clients and, and maybe make, you know, 50 or 60 K a month in coaching, but that's not what I want to do. That's, that's not, I mean, I enjoy coaching, but I wouldn't enjoy it doing it that much. So that's just how it is. Maybe I'll raise the rates at some point and, and that'll, that'll fix the problem. But but yeah, that's how it is. I'd rather grow, grow the membership. I'd rather impact more people. You know, I love my coaching clients. Don't uh, don't be don't, don't get me wrong, but that's just not not what I'm trying to do. So, all right. So then we have some expenses, advertising. Did a little bit of Google advertising, uh, just uh, running some ads. I should probably kill this. It's it's not doing much for me. Some hosting fees, not much there. Uh, some services. These are kind of starting to add up a little bit here. Uh, it's because I've added like a few, you know, active campaign is in there is a big one for the email, but I've added an SEO company, which is actually doing really well. So if we look at like stoic mindset, I believe, well, my videos definitely rank in there. There we go. Stoic mindset. That's cool. And then, oh, hmm, I thought. I thought that Bulldog Mindset was on here. There's a YouTube. You might have to do it in an in a incognito window, although I would think that would come from, or maybe it's like, what is a Stoke Mindset? I don't know. There's a few search terms that I'm doing really well in. The result story is a company that does testimonials. So I send them every month, people that are willing to do testimonials, and, and then they record those and edit them. So that's pretty cool. And then this other one, was oh Thrivecart. So I bought some I switched my my shopping cart software to Thrivecart and that's yeah, so that seems to be going well. And then contractors, we've got a video editor here, copywriter, copywriters are expensive, graphics, and then I'm paying a company to start consulting on doing Facebook advertising for me. I really want to get Facebook advertising working, I want to get paid advertising working for uh, for Bulldog Mindset. And yeah, I, I feel like that will help grow and then PayPal fees. So that's a total, by the way, if you want to join the Bulldog Mindset membership, like I said, you know, there's 750 people in there. Uh, it's growing. We're, we're doing awesome. We're kicking ass in there. You know, I can take, we can take a look real quick and you can see what's in here in the membership. Oh, I just went to the book. So you can buy the book if you want, but if you join the Bulldog Mindset membership, uh, you'll, you'll get access to like every week I'm adding more videos and stuff and you can see how I was fat <laughs> and you can see, you know, how I transformed my life, all of those things. And, uh, yeah. So there's Grant Cardone. There you go. Dan Locke. Oh no, Elliot Hulse. So, uh, but yeah, you can see all the stuff here, the, all the bonuses. It, it's definitely worth it guys. You know, you, you would definitely, enjoy it and I would love to have you as part of the community. The community is growing and, and we're helping each other and it's uh, it's really good. So you can do the monthly or you can do the yearly. All right, uh, so anyway, to get to the final the final numbers here, let's, let's take a look. So final numbers for Bulldog Mindset did $42,071.10. That's pretty good. That used to be more money than I made in a year. So let's add that up. We'll add 42,000. $71 and 10 cents. And it looks like the total for this month of August is $68,033 and 95 cents. So not quite as much as last month, but still pretty good. I'm on track to do what, you know, if I do like 60, let's say 70 K a month, 
times 12 months, yeah, we'll, we'll see. It'll be $840,000. And, and remember, this is profit. This is not revenue. So if we were to look at revenue numbers, I suppose we could look at the expenses and you know what was the, the total expenses here? It's like $8,000 for Bulldog Mindset. And then if we look at expenses here, total expenses, did I get, Oh yeah, yeah. Total expenses five thousand. So eight plus five, thirteen. And then we won't look at expenses there because it's already counted for expenses on real estate. I don't know if I can even look at that number. Is that fourteen thousand? Yeah, that would be fourteen thousand. So uh, what I say, thirteen plus fourteen, so twenty-seven thousand. So really, like if you add sixty-eight thousand plus twenty. 7,000, say 30, so 90, about 90,000, right? So yeah, so over a million bucks in, in revenue per year is what, what it's looking. So there you go, that's it. That's my my little empire. I'd love to help you build your own little empire. Uh, you know, So join the Bulldog Mindset and let's let's get going. Or if you wanna do coaching, like I said, coaching slots are, are full right now, but you can apply down below to get, get started on that. And yeah, for those of you that think I'm a scammer, well, you know, what can I say? Uh, you know, I, I showed you everything here. There's nothing really exciting yet. I'm gonna have a lot more exciting stuff as I start introducing new new things and, and you'll see what I'm doing. I need to make some notes about what I'm doing each month in, in each of the businesses as I'm explaining that. I'm still running training for this 100 mile race. So I, I've been spending a lot of time doing that, to be honest with you. So, which is kind of a good thing. I mean, what that means is that most of these businesses are essentially running on autopilot, which is, is kind of cool. Like I'm not really doing much and, and they're still making money, you know, not necessarily growing, but that's the kind of business that I want to have. I want to have businesses that I don't have to do anything and it still makes me money. That's the best part, you know, aside from making some videos, which I enjoy doing. So that's it guys. I will see you next month and make sure you click the subscribe button and make sure you join the Bulldog Mindset membership if you haven't already. Take care.